Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to another Monday Morning Minute. I'm Frank and I'm here at Green Dynamics here in Lake City, Florida. And uh, we're going to talk to you today about camellias. Uh, camellias are one of my favorite. Uh, they're from Asia. Um, and some of my favorite plant species are from there. On camellias, they're uh, described as having one to 300 described species, so that's a lot. And they're also um, described as having up to about 3,000 different hybrids or varieties. Now there's two main types. There's Camellia japonica and Camellia sasanqua. And we'll give you a little trick as to how to keep those separate here in a minute. So make sure you're paying attention and listen in. So if you ask yourself, self, how do I get good fall color, good winter color in my garden? One of those answers is camellias. So we're going to talk about uh, how they're known as flowering trees or shrubs. They're slow growers for partial shade to full shade. And they do make quite a statement in your fall winter garden for an amazing swath of color. Some of them, especially sasanquas, uh, can be trimmed as a hedge or a topiary. And one of the fancy topiaries is called espalier. And you ask yourself, Frank, what does es espalier mean? Fancy French word for plant torture. Basically what they do is they train it on a flat trellis or against a wall. Um, some of the plants that it can be done with are the uh, Camellia sasanquas, and we have those here available. Uh, usually a Kanjiro, and you'll see one of those in some of the picture shots here in a little bit. It can be done with other plants as well. Um, I've seen it done with apples and pears and uh, Little Gem magnolias. And we do also have the Little Gems available on an espalier. So pay attention, there may be a quiz later. All right, so what kind of flower colors do they come in for this amazing swath of color? Generally, you'll have pinks, whites, and reds, or some variation thereof. One we'll show you here in a little bit. Um, they can also be speckled or striped or even variegated. There's also various flower types. Being a very fancy plant, uh, most people uh, wouldn't know that there's a single flower, there's a double flower. One of my favorites, since I'm so formal, is a formal double flower. And uh, there's also a couple of ones that are kind of hard to, hard to pronounce, anemone or peony. So say each one of those three times fast. All right, some more interesting facts as the leaves can be used uh, to make a tea oil for cooking and uh, camellia leaves are also used to make your tea. I'll bet you didn't know that, did you? All right, so again, remember, pay attention. There may be a quiz later. So the bloom time is fall and winter. We've kind of already talked about that. And uh, they do have different bloom times. You can get some that are early, some that are mid-season, and some that are late season. And there's combinations thereof, some that are classified as early to mid, some that are classified as mid to late, and so on. So there's lots of details in your camellias. Some are also fragrant, which is uh, one thing that I really didn't know until I did a little research. And with these camellias, you can have, due to the bloom times, you can have color almost all winter. It's a very, very uh, fancy plant, as mentioned, but it's not as complicated as you might think to grow. And here at Green Dynamics, as you'll see in some of the picture shots, we have a large variety available for you. All right, hey guys, we're going to uh, focus in here on Camellia japonicas, some of our favorites that we have here at Green Dynamics. Here on my left is probably my top number one uh, Camellia japonica. This is Pink Perfection. You can kind of see it's an easy name to remember. It's pink, and look at that bloom. That's a formal double. Look how perfect that is. So again, Pink Perfection Camellia japonica. Here on my right, got a beautiful one here. I believe this is our friend, uh, the professor. This is Professor Sargent. You can see it's a nice full bloom. Good color there. I love the shiny glossy green leaves and it is an evergreen. Progressing to the right here. You can see here we have Kramer Supreme. And just look at that bloom, nice pinkish lavender. You can see the big stamens in the center there. Quite a statement. All right, a new one for us. We brought the governor in just for you guys. This is Governor Mouton. These are 30-gallon pots. Now, this is one of the unique ones that's a multicolor. 
you can see in here, if we can get up close, you have a red with kind of white stripes slash blotches. It will occasionally throw a solid red, like here this one's kind of a lavendery pink red. But look at the multicolors there. So you're white and pinkish, lavenderish. And again, sometimes it'll throw solids, and some, there are other varieties in the japonicas that will, sometimes it'll throw a pink, sometimes it'll throw a white, sometimes it'll throw a red on the same plant. Sometimes you never know. All right, guys, that's some of our favorite japonicas here at Green Dynamics. Hey, we're here talking about our Camellia sasanquas, one of the other main types of camellias. Here on my left is uh, my friend Snow on the Mountain, or Mane no Yuki. It's a shorter grower, can be considered a dwarf. You can see it has these beautiful white flowers, almost more of a horizontal grower. And here on my right, appropriately named Shishi Gashira, lots and lots and lots of beautiful pink blooms. I've seen this one as a six to eight foot hedge, uh, very upright, somewhat fast growing for a Camellia sasanqua. Now appropriately named for the season, the next one we have here is Yuletide. Beautiful red flower, very prominent gold stamens. Blooms about Christmas time. Okay, next one. I know a lot of you like cotton candy. I like this one too. You can see the beautiful pink blooms there. We also have pink snow. You can see just covered with pink blooms. Lots of buds still coming. Look at that flower. And last but not least, and this is just a small representation of what we have, this is Kanjiro. Usually known as a red, oh, maybe a little bit on the pink side of red. Beautiful, beautiful color, long bloom time. You can see some buds still left on here. Real young buds. Those will maybe be open next week. So tons and tons of fall slash early winter color. And that's some of our Sasanquas. All right, so in review, they provide great fall winter color. They're good for shade, they have beautiful blooms, and there's two main types. Remember Camellia japonica and Camellia Sasanqua. So you're probably asking yourself, Frank, how do I keep those separate? Well, we'll use the acronym that I like to use KISS, keep it simple, silly, or Sally, or you can probably think of a few other S words, but we won't go there. All right, so the simple one, because I'm kind of a simple guy, S in the keep it simple Sally, so S for Sasanqua, S for sooner, S for more sun, S for smaller blooms, S for smaller plants in general. And then the japonicas generally are a bigger plant, a bigger leaf, a bigger flower, and would prefer full shade. All right, you guys, we told you to pay attention, right? There was gonna be a quiz. So if you'd like some swanky swag, uh, respond to the email, and we'll see what we can do for you. All right, so question number one, do camellias have fragrant flowers? Send your responses in. All right, next one, what was the acronym that Frank used? That should be an easy one. And it's not the music group. There's an easy hint, guys. Is there a city in California that uses Camellia in its name? That's pretty easy there. What about a state that uses the Camellia as its state flower? Pretty easy giveaway there. And I know where you guys are heading to Googleplex. So, and what can be made from Camellia leaves? There's two answers there. Now here's some hard ones, but if you think about it, you'll probably get it. Can you make tea out of Camellias? Can it be made in the United States of America? what city, and what company. You may even get extra points for that. All right, guys, that's about it for this Monday Morning Minute. I'm Frank, I hope that you enjoyed our talk today, and tune in next time for something new and uh, exciting. I hope you gained a greater appreciation of camellias, both types, japonicas and sasanquas. And uh, here at Green Dynamics, we've got a lot of them available for you. Thanks a lot, see you next time.